Wow. Hey, Chris. How are you? Hi. Hey. Hi, Ed. How are you doing? Hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, God, this is wonderful to be here. Now? Yes. And greet the camera. How's that? All right. Not so bad. Put around You've greet done the this camera. before. Hey, David. <laughs> How you been? Good. We got them. another one coming. Yeah. Yeah, at least it's not working. Hey, entire medical okay. community. And you thought it was just <laughs> rest of the problem. Take it. I'll tell you. Hey, now you can do, come in. Entree. This is a video. Uh, yes, you're in the right place. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 the has arrived. <laughs> As you are, man. So look if you got it. I wore my sailor hat. Johnny Willow was a soldier in the U.S. Infantry, and they sent him off to battle in 1943. I am Silverback Mark. Silverback. Silverback Milton, film otherwise known as Silverbach. <laughs> Silverback Marcus, and who has ever heard of a gorilla by the name of Marcus? <laughs> cued, eh? What am I supposed to be cued to? Well, this is a special place right here. I haven't had my picture taken in front of this fireplace in a long time. Cut. <laughs> Cup. Silverback Stephen. Johnny had a girl back home. Her name was Jenny May. And he made a solemn promise that he'd write to her each day. Why did you miss the last meeting, Ed? I missed the last meeting because I got a better offer. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Which was to, to backdrop is I have a, an old friend years back. We met in the Army. Uh, a guy named Calvin Trillin, who was the a food writer, a New Yorker, U.S. journal <gasps> writer uh, some decades ago. He did a, uh, every three weeks he would, tr he would travel around the country and, and report about interesting events around the country, very curious things. I mean, it was a good, <clears throat> fairly straight reportage, but, but always quirky and always a little ironical. It was early Monday morning when the sun began to shine And Johnny thought he'd stop a while and drop his girl a line He took his pen and he began to write, my dearest darling May Then a shout rang out and he turned around and he heard somebody say U.S. merchant ships and the next month uh, as a result of that Plus the Lusitania situation was when the United States declared war on Germany then we move into World War II, and again, Germany... The enemies are coming up the hill, 10,000, if there's war. Mean a bunch you've never seen, come on, we'd better run. But Johnny jumped up to his feet, he held the letter tight. He said, come on, you dog-faced soldiers, we're gonna stay and fight. Tanti anni che non lo parlo, non sono sicuro se lo farò correttamente. La battaglia dell'Atlantico era di gran importanza agli alleati. Perché il vecchio mondo, il nuovo mondo, era fornitore di tutte le merci di importanza per il vecchio mondo. E questo vincolo era assolutamente necessario. Se non fosse per il fatto che il vecchio mondo riceveva le merci americane per il nuovo mondo, sicuramente i tedeschi avrebbero vinto la guerra. Però il fatto rimane che hanno potuto mantenere aperto il vincolo, l'umbilico. Ma che stai facendo? So he dropped his pen and he grabbed his gun and he said, I'll show you how to get him on the run. And he started and he yelled and shooting down the hill. Come on, you men, just fire at will. I'm gonna keep the promise that I made to Jenny May. You can bet I'll finish this letter and I'll finish it today. Well, the bullets were coming from as far as you could see. The hill was alive with the charging infantry, but Johnny kept a yelling and a shooting just the same. The more he kept shooting, well, the more and more they came and he looked down at the letter. He still held in his hand and he said, we won't move back an inch, we're gonna make a stand. The, which is better, the submarines of each side in the global picture, but the, um, the, the common soldier was interested, as all silverbacks are, in the flesh. True. And how do you... Frawlines. Frawlines. <laughs> how do you better get the flesh than to 
speak the language of love. And uh, what I've personally <laughs> found in my language. time in Germany <laughs> was Heinrich Heine, which we're probably all familiar with, mm -hmm. um, who, by the way, his original name was Harry, just for those who would like to know. He changed to Protestantism and changed his name to Heinrich later. Was, was he he looked around and his heart did pound as he saw his regiment a holding ground well glory was a flying and a waving in the breeze ain't never been an enemy to bring us to our knees and we ain't gonna let it happen not now or evermore besides i've got a letter to write and mail it out by four Du bist wie eine Blume, so holt ein schönen Rhein. Ich schau dich an und Wehmut schleicht mir ein Herz herein. Es ist, als ob ich die Hände aufs Haupt erlegen sollte, betend, dass Gott dich erhälte, so rein und schön und hold. And with that, they are taken. Well, the cannons were a-booming, and the mortars were a-zooming, and it looked like the 4th of July. And the hill was a-burning, but the battle was a-turning, cause they heard Johnny Yellows do or die. Then the regiment stepped forward, some hung their heads to pray, and Johnny held his gun up high, and a charge was on its way. To have their whole, half of their country, the north, west, and the north of their country, um, occupied by France, and but administered by a French um, politician who not only agreed that he would uh, run the country to the Germans' benefit, but that he would tax the French to pay for the German army, which was the Nazi. And they ran down the hill just a shooting and a yelling and a mowing down the enemy as fast as I'm a telling like a river over rapids it was flowing and a going while the drummer was a drumming and the bugle was a blowing until the enemy was defeated. And they ran with all their might from the brave young man with a letter in his hand and a carbine in his right. Starting in January, Sputnik 1, which was launched in October 57, <clears throat> falls to Earth from its orbit. On January 31st, the first successful American satellite, Explorer 1, was launched into orbit. In February, the Tybee bomb, a 7,600-pound well, Johnny is a hero, Johnny is a hero, the regiment did claim. Cause he led the way and he saved the day and he won for him this fame of a soldier without equal in the U.S. infantry. And it's men like Johnny Willow who keep our country free. And now it's showtime. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>